This is Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel Blind by Flooded Mon 14. Welcome back to Planet Namek! <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Hey guys, this is Flooded Mon 14, your host. Uh, yeah, and uh, last time we uh, basically had our first duel, a couple of duels in Master Duel. I said I would try to check out some of these missions. So let's see what they are. Uh, special summon a monster. Oh, an ex. Oh, okay. So basically, these are. Uh, I guess the game automatically keeps track for you. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. So. Okay, so the missions aren't something we really specifically have to worry about. I mean, I guess I could uh, make some kind of uh, deck around them, but let's check daily. I think daily is what we're going to want to try to do. Basically, for this Let's Play, check the daily missions. Um, so, normal summon a monster in ranked. So, we have three of three, one of one. Oh, so we've got all these, right? Uh, claim all awards. Uh, gem obtained. Okay. Normal summon. Activate a spell. Okay, log in. Oh, log in once per day. Okay, one account per day. Ah, nice, nice. Activate a trap. Okay, yeah, so some of these are pretty easy, honestly, yeah. Complete, complete, complete. Good, good. Because that just means more uh, gems for us, right, guys? Okay, and lifetime. Let's go to lifetime. New mission. Uh, reach, ranked, dual, silver. Okay, okay. That's, that's kind of a long-term goal, but I think what we'll want to do, I'm glad I checked this on screen, because like I said, this is blind, and I'm not like, I'm not like super familiar with the game, guys. I know everything about Master Duel. Here's what you need to know. Here's what deck you need to play. Here's what you need to do. Here's what you need to do in the game. You need to play Floor. You need to play Synchrons. You need to do this. Uh, no, no. You need to play Ultimate Falcon. I have no idea what that is, but I heard a lot about it. Um, but no, I think this is what we'll probably one to two is check the daily missions and just do those every, you know once a day so that, that, that sounds good that sounds good uh also looks like we can download what camp download a campaign uh well i'll check on that later because obviously i don't want to stop the video right now uh so it seems like the missions part is pretty yeah you just kind of uh it just kind of automatically kind of does it oh we have some new packs too now, uh, I'll try to keep pack openings to a separate uh, video, obviously. In fact, like, probably after we do, like, one or two, I don't know how long the duels are going to take. But after we do, uh, you know, one or two duels here online, yeah, we'll probably uh, just, it will end the video, you know, at, for part two. Yeah, get two solid parts in. That sounds good. And uh, then we will, um... We'll do a pack opening video next video. And again, I, I don't know how many gems we have. I don't know how many gems will get you a pack. We'll figure it all out next time. Like I said, this is all blind. It's like you guys are playing with me because I have no idea how this game works. I have no... All I know in Yu-Gi-Oh! is big number beats little number. And basically, on a card effect, here's the key to playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Read the card and do what it says. Right? I mean, I mean, that's basically it. I mean... Anyway, we'll start with Shard of Greed. This can let us draw two cards eventually. Um, but we have to be lucky. Now, Shield Wing, I remember. Yeah, twice per turn can't be destroyed in battle? That sounds like a pretty good first turn move. So let's set that. Hopefully he doesn't have something to negate my uh, Shield Wing right away. That would kind of suck. Uh, but we'll go ahead and set this kind of as bait. We'll just set this over here. I mean, we can't use Deflector right now, but maybe if he has MST, he'll go after this. Um, now, speaking of MST, Mystical Space Typhoon, <laughs> one thing I did here in this game, which is crazy, it's just, it's crazy to me, because you guys gotta remember, the last format I played was Black Wings, like Black Wings, full power Black Wings. Harpy's Feather Duster was banned. Dark Hole was banned. Raijiki, aka Thunderbolt, aka Raigeki, was banned. I've heard that all those cards, I've heard Raigeki's at three? I don't know if that's just this game, or it's literally the modern Forbidden Unlimited list. Like, I don't even play competitive anymore. 
So if it's at three on the modern forbidden and limited, that isn't like, bro, that is just, I don't even know what to say. I, that's, it's just, it's just mind blowing. It's just like, you ever, you guys ever watch Adult Swim? Mind blown. Oh, okay. And he just normal summoned and didn't attack. That's weird. Uh, maybe this is still kind of like a tutorial thing, but I don't think so. I think this is, this is legit. We're just still in the rookie. Uh, zero. Okay. Seems like bait to me, but we'll go in with a uh, Rockstone Warrior. I don't know. Maybe he has a, uh, a, a hand trap. I hear those are common now, too. Maybe he has some kind of combo he can activate from the hand. Maybe he has Honest. Oh, yeah. I do remember Honest. Honest? Honestly? I do remember Honest. Yeah. On and Battle Fader. Oh, man, Battle Fader. But you can't use Battle Fader on a monster to monster attack can you no no all right so no problem there maybe he's new to the game like us maybe he meant to set that maybe yeah maybe this is still like you know the game has an opponent for you but it's actually a tutorial it's, it's a it's a fake opponent you know because i've had games like that before too but anyway we will hit the end phase here like i said i don't know if these are all still tutorials you know versus kind of like bot duels or but, uh, well, that second duel in the last episode, that seemed like a real duel to me. Because the guy had a Utopia deck, and he went off. We got to learn about Utopia the Lightning for the first... That was exciting. That was, well, it was, uh, it was interesting. Well, I'll say that this is going to be an interesting Let's Play for, for all of us. For all of us. But I'll get better as... You guys will see. I'll become a master duelist in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Eh, eh, eh no time he's good he knows everything about summoning a monster in attack mode so he played gym knight uh Chormalian. he channels mystic energies and changes them into fighting stream through the power of tourmaline many admire his way of life now i don't know why he attacked me there again maybe he doesn't know how the game works yet it's fine. We're all rookies at some point. Right? Right. All right. Lord in no time. Draw. Oh, Mystic Space Typhoon. Yeah, yeah. And another thing I heard was unlimited. Harpy's Feather Duster. But yet Heavy Storm is still banned? What? That, that makes no sense to me. Anyway, we can now use Shard of Greed since it has two or more greed counters. Activate effect. By sending it to the grave, we get to draw. Now I activate Pot of Greed. Check it out. When I activate this sweet card, I'm allowed to draw twice more. Now we got Nitro Synchron. Uh, this can only be used for Nitro Warrior. But let me see, Nitro Warrior is seven stars, so two. We would need a one star uh, to get out Nitro Synchron, or like a three and a two. So I guess a Shine Knight could work in the long run. Uh, you know what? Let's try Shine Knight. Let's 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 set Shine Knight right here, okay? And we'll just we'll, we'll take it slow. We'll take it slow on this guy because he seems to be learning too. Uh, not sure what he probably has the. Uh, you know how in the first um, uh, match we had the you know the kind of vanilla the vanilla starter deck. I think that's what this guy's using. Uh, because some of his cards look oddly familiar. Um, but that's okay. I mean, like I said, we're just kind of getting used to this. Let's set MST over here. Uh, I hear, I also hear that the columns, you see how, like, like these two are in the same column? I hear the columns kind of matter now? Kind of. Uh, I hear that there's only one card uh, a friend of mine told me out to watch out for, and that's Infinite Impermanence. And apparently it negates everything in the column but that doesn't mean like senate switch is meta because as soon as he told me that i was like hey is senate switch of all cards is senate switch meta he's like no no it's not that bad i said oh okay 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 you know we haven't in entered the the, the the insane zone you know <laughs> that's how you know Yu-Gi-Oh is you know quote unquote dead or it's gone too far if senate switch the continuous spell that lets you like move monsters from zone to zone if that card ever becomes meta, like meta, like I mean, people are playing it at tournaments, at world championship chips. That's how you know. That's how you know Yu-Gi-Oh is, you know, 
you know, going on the deep end. All right, this guy's taking a little while to think, and and, and and this is part of the problem of Let's Play in this game. Like, I didn't even talk about this in the first episode, but let me talk about some of the potential problems of Let's Play in this game. Connection issues and time, right? There are, I've heard, believe it or not, there are some, how do you say, it? unfortunately rude people who, and this guy doesn't seem to be rude. He seems to just be playing his cards right away and attacking. I like that. I like that. But I've heard there's some people who are, you see the timer over here at 402? I've heard there are some people, yeah, right over there. I've heard there are some people who will run the timer down like all the way to like 100. And then they'll start, you know, doing their combo, their combo. It's like, that's, that's kind of scummy, guys. But of course, like, some people just don't have the time. They don't have the time to sit there and you know, wait, so it's a free win. They just wait on the opponent to quit, and yeah, that's kind of scummy, but, yeah, you know, there's not much you can do to really fix that in an online simulator. Uh, but anyway, let's do our first Synchro Summon of the Let's Play, guys. Ooh. And again, I don't know if this is a, a pre-programmed, I don't know if this is a bot or whatever, but hey, I'm excited. I don't care if this is, this is, uh, you know, supposed to be this easy or not now we'll go I, I now colossal fighter is probably the best synchro in this deck but i want to summon nitro warrior because like how how often are we actually going to be able to summon this thing so i'll synchro summon now tunic nitro synchron shield the thing so stay shine like the tuning all of my hearts join together as one prepare to face the Nitro Power. It is Nitro Warrior Shokan. Oh yeah, that's right, guys. And now Nitro Synchron's effect will activate in the grave, allowing us to draw one card. And we'll cancel. All right. Yeah, this guy hasn't even set a spell or trap, which is kind of strange. Uh, I guess he got unlucky. Simply unlucky. But this should be game. I mean, unless he has Battle Fader now. No, okay. Or maybe he has Gores. Ooh, what if he has Gores? Or Tragodia? Uh, looks like we're good. Nitro Warrior! Nitro Vista Impacto! Alright. And, hey guys, we win. Alright. Two and one for today. But yeah, the time is currently... Uh, what's today's date? Today is July the 19th, uh, 2022. We have ranked up again. That's good. Uh, the time is currently about 10.30 at night. I just finished editing the first episode and putting it on YouTube. That's that's kind of exciting. I'm very glad about that. Very glad. So, And we're level 3 now. All right, so we get dual victory, no damage. Oh, that's... Okay, so remind me, guys, try to get no damage, because that's a thousand gems. That's that's a lot. That seems like that's a lot. Try to get no damage. That's pretty good. And we get these two rewards. I, I recognize these. You have Blue Wing Crown and Mysterious Puppeteer. You gain 500 points every time normal summon or special one. But uh, anyway, we'll go back to the menu, and we will duel someone. Uh... Whoever is out there, duel me! I've also heard that, and again, this is another part of this let's play I can't really control. Sometimes you'll try to duel over and over here at the connection screen, and it just it just won't connect for whatever reason. It's like I've heard that sometimes the servers, like even still, even even now that you know less people are playing, that sometimes the servers on Master Door are just really bogged down, and you just you can't get through to a duel. So. Yeah, if that ever happens, you know, sorry, but I, I, obviously, I really don't have any control over that, guys. I mean, it's just, you know, it's just something we gotta watch out for, man. I, you know, so I apologize for any, like, slow play and errors and connections, and there's a lot that could go, you know, wrong in this LP. Also, like, I can't exactly pause the duel either, so let's say, like, the timer runs out on my video, and like they continue with their turn and I had to you know stop this part because it gets to like 24 minutes to start the next part um like you may miss like three or four moves they make 
you know, so sorry about that too. You know, I can't really, you know, cause I like to keep these videos at about, you know, 25. Of course, I'll try to show the end of the duel, uh, if at all possible, but sometimes, yeah, sometimes I'm gonna end up finishing a duel like off screen, guys. It, it, it's just the way this LP is gonna work. Sometimes I'm gonna finish a duel off screen and it's just gonna be like, yeah, hey guys, we're back. Uh, long story short, I lost the last duel, you know, or I won or, or whatever, you know. My phone ran out of battery and that's it, guys. You know, sorry, but, you know. Uh, anyway, that was a yeah, quick victory. Wow, no damn. <laughs> Thanks for surrendering. Uh, maybe he had connection issues. That's kind of what I was just talking about. Like, maybe that guy had connection. I, I don't know. I don't know. But I've heard that that kind of thing that we just went through. I've heard that happens all the time. You know? Where like you'll connect and then suddenly they'll disconnect or whatever. Like, it's it's strange. It's strange. It, it's the wild, the wild, wild Julie West. Welcome back to you. Anyway, I feel like I'm doing a lot of talking, so let's take a drink of water and get crushed. Ready? All right. Let's see. Oh, what's this? Foolish burial goods. Interesting. Uh, ooh. Wait, what did he send to the graveyard here? Hang on. Sky. Oh, ooh, Sky Striker. Okay. Interesting. Using the graveyard effect. Fusion summon one. Oh boy. Oh boy. Metalphors of fusion. God. Hmm. Let me guess. This guy's link summoning. Uh. Yep. Sky Striker Ace. Hayate. Now what is? Oh, I don't even know what he's doing, bro. Shizuku. Wow. Okay. Well, one thing I can figure out from my base knowledge of Yu-Gi-Oh, this guy's loading up his graveyard. I don't know what the goal of Sky Strikers is, but he's loading up his graveyard with different monsters. So maybe they have some kind of Sky Striker spell to bring them all back pretty quickly. Or I don't know. I don't know. For now, let's check this card out. Okay, Sky Striker Ace, Shizu. Monsters your opponent control lose. Ah, hunter attack and defense. For each spell in your graveyard. Interesting. Okay, once per turn, special summon. You can, okay, so that's what let him add that card. And yeah, you can only special summon once per, okay, I see. So basically, he's loading up the graveyard, or she, in order to use all these effects. So, this card can attack directly. Okay. So right now there's only one spell or trap, so that's good. So I think what we want to do is obviously Mystic Space Typhoon, whatever he's got there. So let's Mystic Space Typhoon in this zone here. There we go. Yep, Cyclone! Goodbye, whatever you got. Hopefully we didn't help him out. What was that? Was that Pot of Desires? Oh my god! Dude, why would you set that? What? Whoops. <laughs> Well, anyway, we'll go with Max Warrior Shogun. All right, and yeah, we're lowered, but, but we can still defeat this monster, unless there's some kind of uh, shenanigans going on. All right, Max Warrior There we go. All right, good. So we got rid of his uh, thing there. Oh, I forgot to read what Ray does. Does she come back? Is that how this deck works? She just keeps perpetually coming back? Oh, no. Oh, no, that's not good. I, I didn't even... Yu-Gi-Oh players can't read. What can I say? Uh, while this card's in your graveyard, if a sky is destroyed by battle... Oh, you can spend... Okay, so this is how this deck works. All you do is you summon her, you link into one of the blue cards, the blue cards die, she comes back. Next turn, you do it all over again. So the way to stop this deck, Macrocosmos, if you got it, and I guess Soul Release or something similar. Good to know, good to know. We will set a couple cards in main phase two as bluffs, and we'll just go from there, yeah. All right, so we'll set here, mm -hmm. and we'll set here. All right. Now the question is, is is she going to, and I'm just gonna call, say she, because I have no idea. 
But is she going to OTK me the next turn? I don't know. The power level of these um, these blue cards doesn't seem to be too high. Like, I know she's, like, lowering our points for each spell. But right now, she only has, like, what? Two spells in the grave? That's not a big decrease. Like, Burden of the Mighty would lower me more by at this point. Like, so... Maybe the the end goal of this deck is to activate a bunch of spells in one turn. Did you just activate a bunch of spell cards in one turn? Yeah, so that's against the rules, isn't it? Actually, Kaiba, you can activate as many spells per turn as you like. Oh, well, I don't care. <laughs> now that seemed like kind of a waste. I don't know why they wasted a spell on a monster with 700 attack. Again, probably just to fuel the effect. I mean, the more spells in the grave, the better this deck is. It, it's quite obvious from the first blue monster, so... I don't know, I don't know. Uh, now, some of you guys probably know exactly what's going on. Now, 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 this is what I don't get. Why didn't you Feather Duster first thing? Unless they just drew Feather Duster off of... Uh, maybe they just drew Feather Duster off of Engage there? But, like... I don't know. Like, maybe they had it in their hand the whole time. Why wouldn't you just dust her to start? What? Well, anyway. Let's see. Let's just sit back and see if we get OTK here. Uh, oh. Add a card. That's pretty busted. Okay, so this is the main card of the deck, I think. Add a Sky Striker card, and then if you have three or more spells, you can draw a card. You may notice, folks. There's no once per turn on Sky Striker Mobilizer Cage. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Kagari, huh? Now, what's this one do? Uh, oh, you can add, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, so yeah, Engage is obviously the main card of this deck. This card right here. That's the choke point. If you can somehow get rid of this card, or banish it, or, you know, just make it to where they can't activate it. Yeah, this is the card. If you have, like, a spell of the Forbidden One to stop them from repeatedly playing Engage, yeah, that seems like to be a good way to go. And they got their field spell, so we might lose here. I don't know. Let's, let's just watch that. Let's just watch. Wow. So this is a kind of... This is definitely a new deck, first of all. And number two, like, look at the size of their hand. Six cards. And they started with, like, only three this turn in here. So this deck r never runs out of cards. Plus, if you kill the blue monster, the uh, the ace comes back. The, the normal level four. Yeah, that. That girl, Ray. Ray comes back. So this deck... Hey, it never runs out of cards. It always draws cards. It always searches cards. Yeah, this smells like an OTK deck to me. I don't know. I mean, the power level it has... I mean, she's not done, obviously. But the power level so far... Not bad. Not bad. Now, what's this? Hmm let you get a level three tuner that's not good hmm can't activate its effects but if you synchro someone with it or link which is what they're doing right now it kind of doesn't matter kind of doesn't matter i think we just lost guys i think we just lost wow what in the world did this thing do uh ooh. That's not good. Once per turn during the main phase, you can remove three counters. Wow! That is a... Wait, why didn't she use the effects? What? I think this is what we call link climbing. That's all they're doing. Okay, there's the big... There's the big number. Okay, we lost. Well, guys, it was a fun duel while it lasted. All right, and with that,
we once again. Well, we won like two duels and we lost one. But this is definitely what we'd call a uh, a meta deck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you could tell the difference, bro. Like compare those that one duel where that guy was just you know kind of normal summoning and uh, uh, basically running into our monsters. Compare that to that uh, Sky Striker deck we just faced. But now I know like engage. If you can shut off engage, shut that thing off. And number two, Macrocosmos. If you Macrocosmos the deck, yeah, it kind of doesn't work from what I can... That's my initial... By the way, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments. Also, Imperial Order seems like it'd be pretty good against that deck. And I hear that's legal. I hear that's legal now. So, uh, but yeah, uh, thank you guys all for joining me today. That was a good learning experience. Sky Strikers, pretty, uh, how do we say, consistent. Pretty consistent strategy. I like it. I, I, I like Sky Striker. I like it. Uh, but yeah, with that, guys, this has been Floodmont Award Team getting wrecked by Sky Strikers. And I want to thank you all for joining me in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel Blind. But that's going to be it for me. And we have yet to run into a Blue Eyes deck. I hear Blue Eyes decks are pretty freaking good at Master Duel. We'll see. We'll see. Eventually. Eventually. And that's another thing I, I meant to... I can't really control what deck we're facing either. Yeah, yeah. Th there's a lot to Master Duel... I can't really control. So this is going to be a fun Let's Play, for sure. Because I don't know what to expect. You guys don't know what to expect. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. But uh, yeah, thank you guys all for joining me today. And uh, I had fun. I Obviously, you can, you can hear it in my voice, man. But yeah, I'll see you guys all next time. Opening next video coming up.